Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and this video is all about the Saucony 5000 patchwork. Welcome to the channel. As with every review that I do on the channel, I will be looking into five different categories when I review this pair of Saucony 5000 patchworks. At the end of the video, I will then give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And once you're down there, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Now let's kick this review off then by first checking these Sockonies out on feet. First things first, let's get this out of the way. Some people say Saucony, which is apparently the official way the brand have released that you should be saying their brand name. Other people say Saucony or Saucony, however you wanna say it. This Saucony 5000 patchwork is a really nice looking shoe. It's very simple. It's based on um, kind of like a retro silhouette, the 5000. It's one of their oldest shoes and it really is a really good looking sneaker. And I do love what they've done with this corduroy patchwork on the upper of this shoe. There are kind of different mediums and grades of this quilted corduroy that you can see on the top of the shoe. It's quite thick on the toe box, but then quite thin around the edge of the toe and towards the lace loops. There's small plastic detailing in the eye stays around the laces at the top of the shoe and the middle of the tongue. But other than that, it is just a full corduroy upper and it looks really, really good. On top of the EVA foam midsole that you get with this shoe, a little bit firm to the touch, but we'll talk about that more in the comfort section. Then as you move towards the bottom of the sneaker, you get some more colors that really pop with this yellow and also with this kind of teal turquoise color surrounded by the black with these really rigid cutaways on the outsole. It's a very thick outsole for the shoe, so I do think these are gonna have a lot of long-term use in them. You get round laces with these, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'd normally prefer to have kind of a flat lace with my sneakers, but they do kind of work. And then you get this deep yellow color on the inside of the shoe with this foam detailing and also a slightly ribbed insole as well for that corduroy effect. Overall, I think they're a really good looking shoe. I love the way that the colors pop, but I do think that's gonna put some people off as well because they may be a little bit too colorful for some people's palettes. Now, I do wanna move on to their comfort and talk more about this EVA midsole in the comfort test. You can see from the step test that this EVA foam midsole has possibly been on this 5000 range by Saucony for a very long time and possibly not been upgraded in a few years. It does offer some bounce back, but not too much, and it bounces back very quickly, which is an indication with the amount of spring back that I got from these on the step that it is a firmer ride underfoot, and it does feel firm underfoot, but it does feel nice and comfortable. But for me, what makes this shoe really comfortable is the upper and the amount of foam that you've got around the heel unit here and especially this very thick foam tongue and then when you go inside the sneaker you've got more foam detailing underneath this corduroy upper that just makes your feet feel so snug and comfortable and cozy now fit wise i'm a perfect length uk size 10 so i didn't have any trouble with room in the toe box lengthwise my feet are slightly wider than average and they do feel quite snug in the toe box around this part of your feet here just where your toes begin to creep out of your feet but overall i did really like that snug fit so for me i wouldn't go any sizes above i think these are quite a true fit if you do like a snug fit but if you do want them to be a little bit bigger obviously go half a size up but overall the overall comfort for the shoe, even though it's firm underfoot, was very surprising and something I really did enjoy. Now, moving on to their weight, where I'm gonna pop them on the scales.
coming in at 319 grams per shoe is a great weight when you consider the amount of overlays that you've got with this corduroy patchwork on the upper, the amount of foam detailing you get around the ankle, the tongue and inside the shoe, and then also the amount of grip you get with this rugged outsole. Overall, 319 is an incredibly good weight for this shoe when you consider how much it's got going on. And also, I do consider anything under the 350 gram mark and below to be considered lightweight. So these definitely fall into that category. Now I'm gonna move on to their breathability where I wanna pump the upper full of smoke to see if any smoke is gonna release from this quilted upper. Sadly, this is where the shoe does stumble a little bit and it is with the breathability. I didn't expect though for any smoke to escape from any part of this upper. But as you can see, the smoke did escape in small amounts from the toe box where you have this slightly wider corduroy overlay. Now, that for me is very surprising because I didn't expect any smoke to escape from this corduroy upper at all with the amount of overlays there are and also the fact that it is quilted corduroy and there's so much foam on the inside. So for me, that's a positive result in the breathability test because I wouldn't be expecting this shoe to offer much breathability at all. So I wouldn't buy a corduroy shoe expecting that. So to be honest, any breathability that comes out of it is a plus, like I've said. Now moving on to their price. Now these set me back 105 pounds. I do have a slight issue with the price because I think for what you're paying for and what you're getting, I think it is a little bit too much. I would much prefer to see these come in under 100 pounds, especially around the 95, 99 pound mark. So I do think they are a little bit overpriced, especially in today's market. Although I do appreciate the price of everything just keeps going up and up and up. Now, moving on to my overall score for these sneakers, it's gonna be a very strong four stars. Now, the only reason I've marked this shoe down is because it's not too breathable and also because I think the price is a bit too much. But looks wise, I absolutely love it. Comfort wise, I was incredibly surprised by how comfortable they are and also their weight is very good too. But I just think that they do need to be a little bit more breathable because don't forget, these aren't gonna offer like any waterproof abilities at all. So if you did take them out in the winter conditions, yes, you would have nice cozy snug feet, but if these get wet, the weight is just gonna increase twofold because this material is just gonna absorb it all up. So I think four stars is a very fair score. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, again, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up like before you go. You can also follow me on Instagram. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.